Hey everyone, Amy Galper here and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make your own personal aromatherapy inhaler to help you relieve headaches. It's a super simple recipe that only has three essential oils. If this is the first time that you've landed here on my channel, welcome, but make sure that you subscribe and ring that bell so you'll be notified every single time that I come out with a new video about essential oils, aromatherapy entrepreneurship, aromatherapy certification, and botanical body care formulation. So are you ready? Let's get into it. Here is everything that you are going to need in order to make your essential oil personal inhaler to relieve headaches. The first essential oil that we're going to be using is lavender, and the botanical name is Lavendula angustifolia. Lavender is steam distilled from the flowering tops of this beautiful, herbaceous, and very fragrant herb-like bush, and the oil has con chemical constituents and different molecules in there that have been widely researched and studied and shown to really relieve both emotional and psychological and physical tension in the body. I've included it in this recipe specifically because it has pain relieving properties and because it has been shown to relax and soothe our central nervous system. The next essential oil that we're going to be using in our blend to relieve headaches is rosemary and its botanical name is Rosemarinus officinalis and it is of a unique chemotype called 1,8 cineol. If you want more of an explanation about what a chemotype is, just go ahead and check the description below. So rosemary is steam distilled from the leaves and flowering tops of the common rosemary plant that we even cook with. And the reason why I'm including it in this recipe is because the notable presentation of that one molecule, 1,8 cineol, is known to be very pain relieving and very clearing to the mind. And often when we are suffering with a headache, our mind feels crowded and tense and not clear. And rosemary is truly one of the best oils to help clear and open our mind and our thinking and also relieve pain. The next essential oil that we're using in this recipe to relieve headaches is peppermint essential oil. The botanical name is Menta piperita, and it's also related botanically to lavender and rosemary. I chose peppermint for this recipe because like the rosemary and the lavender, it is also very pain relieving. And like the rosemary, it will help support and enhance that clearing and soothing feeling that we get in the mind when we feel like we're overthinking or that we're stressing or we're going in circles over worry. Peppermint is also known to really help soothe and relax our nervous system. And like the rosemary, it's also steam distilled from the leaves and the flowering tops and is a common culinary herb that we use just like the way that we use rosemary. Now let's talk about what we're going to need to actually make our inhaler to soothe headaches. Well, the first thing you're going to need is actually a personal inhaler. So a personal inhaler is a really amazing aromatherapy container that allows us to sniff and experience the blend of essential oils and their aromatic effects on us in a really, really discreet way. So here you can see one inhaler that has been disassembled and taken apart. So you can see all the different parts, right? You see the empty inner piece, you see the cotton inserts, you see the little metal piece with the holes where the scent is going to waft out of, and you see the outer tubing or the outer shell. And then you also see here one of the inhalers actually 
put together and you can see that it kind of looks like a little lipstick tube and they're really easy to just have in your pocket and your backpack and sniff as often as you want throughout the day or even throughout the night. The next tool that you are going to need is a bowl and some kind of mixing tool. So what I have here is a stainless steel bowl and a stainless steel mixing spatula. As I mentioned before, all of the links to everything that I'm using is shared in the description below. And just a little note, I prefer using stainless steel and glass to mix my pure essential oils in because they're so potent and so concentrated essential oils that you actually might start to degrade any plastic container that you might mix them in. And we don't want that to happen. So that's one of the reasons why I always recommend stainless steel and glass. And additionally, stainless steel and glass don't hold the aroma so you won't get any aromatic residues. The next tools that you may wanna have on hand, though they're not necessary to actually create this inhaler, but it's kind of nice to have them nearby just in case, is you might want to have some fragrance strips. So a fragrance strips are these long pieces of special paper that are very highly absorbent that perfumers and aromatherapists use to drip their essential oils onto so they could smell them outside of the bottle. I use them when I'm trying to decide what essential oils blend best together. So this might be a great way for you to experiment and try different oils by putting different drops on different strips and smelling them together. The other things that you may want to have on hand that do come in handy are disposable plastic pipettes, which are great to dispense your essential oils if you're having trouble dripping them out of your essential oil bottles. And then here I'm showing some wooden mixing sticks. They're basically just popsicle sticks or tongue depressors. And those are really nice to have on hand just in case you can't get hold of a stainless steel stirrer or you don't have a glass stirrer, you don't, have, you don't wanna use maybe one of the spoons you use in your kitchen. Using a wooden stick will work just fine. So now let's make our inhaler recipe to get rid of headaches. So the first ingredient that we're going to add into our bowl is lavender essential oil. Now in this bottle, I don't have an orifice reducer, so I'm going to use a disposable plastic pipette in order to dispense my essential oils. So the recipe calls for 14 drops of lavender essential oil. So I'm going to Go right in my bottle and drip out 14 drops. And I'm gonna put the rest back in the bottle. I'm gonna throw away my disposable pipette. And now we're going to add the rosemary essential oil. Now the rosemary essential oil already has an orifice reducer in the bottle, as you can see. And I'm just going to go ahead and drop in six drops of rosemary essential oil. And once that's in there, I'm now going to add my peppermint essential oil. Now the peppermint is really strong, so I'm only going to use two drops of peppermint essential oil. And now that all of those drops are in my bowl, I'm going to take my metal spatula and I'm gonna gently stir it up so it's blended up really well. And now I'm ready to take the cotton insert from the inhaler and drop it in the bowl and have that cotton insert soak up all the essential oils. I may wanna use my spatula to help finish up soaking it up I can also use my fingers if I want, or if you have a tweezer, you can use that as well. Once the cotton insert is fully saturated, I'm going to now put it into the inner insert part of my inhaler. So I'm gonna take the cotton wick, which is now fully saturated, and I'm going to just pop it right in to my inner tube of my inhaler. Next, I'm going to take the cap with the little holes, which is where we're gonna be able to smell it. 
I'm going to screw it on tightly. And now it's ready to put into the outer tube. So here I have now put this together. I've snapped it in. And now I have the lid and we have made the inhaler. So now that you've made your personal aromatherapy inhaler to get rid of headaches, you might be wondering, well, how do I use it? So this is what I do when I am suffering from a major headache. I take my inhaler, I uncap it, and you see those little holes right there on the front? I place it right under my nose and I just do three little sniffs. And then I usually wait a couple of seconds, let it kind of affect me, and then I'll smell again. And I'll do that periodically throughout the day. And what's so cool about these little personal inhalers is how discreet they are. They're so small. You can fit them in your pocket, in your purse, in your fanny pack, in your car. You can carry them with you everywhere and anywhere you go and use it throughout the day to relieve your headache. And it is truly remarkable how just a few sniffs a few times during the day can really relieve your headache. So, if you liked this video and you want to hear more tips and tricks about how you can use essential oils to improve the health and wellness of your life, or maybe you want to learn about what it means to be a certified aromatherapist or how to formulate your own botanical body care products, or maybe even start your own aromatherapy business, this is the place to be. So make sure you subscribe, leave me a comment, tell me a little bit about yourselves, and please, I'd love to hear what your biggest takeaways were from this video and what you found most valuable. In the description, you'll find links to everything that I used in the video, plus you'll see ways that you can learn even more about essential oils with me. So until next time, I'll see you in the next video.